Wait, 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 wait. I, I, Kyle has to tell you something that I told him last week. Yo, yo, yo. So when he told me last week was we basically hate our money. We might as well just set it on fire. But we decided not to do that. And we're going to give you guys a free cruise. We're giving you guys a cruise for two to one of our subscribers once we hit a thousand subs. So don't forget to hit that sub button. Let's get to the video. <laughs> guys ready to cha-cha slide for the 90th time what's up guys i'm pete i'm kyle and we are the, the boat breakers. breakers what's what is it all right so in today's video we're going to tell you guys about a story about how we got asked by carnival to be one of their employees before we get started a little background um on me and kyle uh we are entertainers by profession <laughs> <laughs> dusty <laughs> So Pete and I worked in the DJ industry for a very long time. Um, we have friends that were backup dancers for popular artists on tour. So we do have some experience in the entertainment industry. Well, Kyle and I had a company where we would travel tri-state area um, and perform for Sweet Sixteens, weddings. It'd be me, Kyle, and a couple buddies, and we would do it every weekend. So being an entertainer isn't a switch that you turn on or off. It's kind of always just jammed on. So when we got up on a cruise ship, we are still on full entertainment mode. So naturally, as an entertainer, it's pretty much in our blood to start a party, to try to entertain or try to motivate people to dance. So you always see us on the dance floor first. You always see us, you know, trying to get people involved first. We're not shy people when it comes to going out and being out on your comfort zone. That's kind of what we live for, is to go out, meet new people on vacations, and be the first ones to leave the cha-cha slide on every deck party ever. To the left, to the left. To the right. back now, y'all. What up, this time? Are you sick of those line dances? Because we're not. <laughs> of the many cruises we've been on, one particular cruise stands out. Throughout the course of the cruise, we were basically entering it ourselves in every contest. Um, we kind of became celebrities on the boat. I did the Harry Man contest. We were sailing carnival, by the way. Um, I did the Harry Man contest. My friend did the lip sync battle. Uh, one of our friends did the mixology contest. We kind of did anything that they asked for participants. We were pretty much involved. But we were definitely vibing with the crew staff and that kind of caught their eye that we would always be out there first or we'd be helping them lead stuff. What really, really stood out to them is the fact that we break dance. So, when we get in the middle of a circle, uh, everybody comes and crowds around. What are they doing? What are they doing? And we sometimes get the whole Lido deck involved in this giant circle that we just made because the DJ was just playing music up there. Boat breakers, people. It's the reason. Wow, <laughs> I feel like they don't believe us. Yo, why wouldn't they believe us? We're entertainers. Trust me when I say we're entertainers. We it was just, our job. We wouldn't call ourselves the boat breakers for no reason. <laughs> I know. Let me see it to believe it. Uh, that's a good way to do it. All okay. Right. Roll it. Here's me doing the Harry Man contest. Here's our friend entering the lip sync. Check that out. Look at those moves. What? Wow, how did he do that? Check this out, and then here's some video clips of just us dancing on the ship, putting on a little show. Wait, you said that you wanted to see a flip? Kyle, let's show them a flip. So, I don't know if that's enough to, for you guys to believe us, but that's basically all the background we can really give you. So here's what happened. Second to last day on the cruise, the cruise director approaches us. So we were just hanging out on top deck during the daytime, treating it like any normal day, had a few drinks in us. Just feeling the vibes, feeling good about ourselves. So the cruise director came over, started talking to us, and he was basically just giving us a feel for what we think of our like path is and our careers, and just trying to see how open we were to the idea of working for a carnival. Basically, he was hinting at what we thought about working on the ship, a couple of us. Obviously, for us as entertainers, it's a dream to travel for free and get paid to do what you do which is basically just have people enhance their vacation so that's a dream to us and it's something that we have considered in the past conversations coming to an end and he kind of says to us put in your resume and i'll handle the rest were his exact words here's the job do you want it you know it's um it's a very tempting offer you kind of work your whole life thinking that you're not sure if you can make a career out of it but here you are handed a job with free board, and you're gonna be getting paid to do it while traveling. It sounds like a dream job. 
So with that being said, uh, you kind of know where this is going. We had to kindly decline. Uh, it was bad timing. A couple of us were in school. A couple of us just started a job. So no one, not one person out of our seven man crew was able to accept the offer. I feel like it was kind of um, a groove because we did, we really did talk to them kind of personal level and we said, uh, could we potentially just make a 30 minute show and perform once a week? And they were actually open to that idea, but um, it was, I don't know if it was an all or nothing kind of deal, but it basically was like, we want the majority of you guys to work for us, not just one or two. And it really sucked. They probably could have just threw us on a new boat. Like how many entertainers are on boats? Like seven? Yeah. They could have said, when we hire these seven guys, they take the horizon. Imagine if he said that, I would have been like, "What kids? What school? <laughs> Do we have to learn? We'd have to learn to sing or something." <laughs> I can sing. <laughs> Looking back at it, you know, it was a couple of years ago. I I, uh, I really think we should have did it. We should have took a semester. We should have moved some things around because it was kind of a once in a lifetime deal. You know, I definitely can't do it now. But when I was younger, I probably could have afforded to take off work or take off school. But now, I mean, bills and everything. In High Touch 2020, um, I think sir, uh, all of our friends might probably regret it. I know we personally kind of think about what, ha what if we took that job every now and then. And we like to play the scenarios out. But, you know, here we are just making videos on YouTube. So it's the same thing as being paid to travel on a cruise. You know, we did really vibe with entertainment staff. And that being said, we got some nice perks out of it. We were sent a bottle of champagne to our room just for being, you know, lively and helping entertainment staff's job become a little bit easier for that week. So they really did appreciate it. So moral of the story, I think, is if you can get out of your comfort zone and just show the staff that you're trying to have a good time and help other crews, your fellow cruisers on the ship have a good time, it'll pay itself tenfold. Boat breakers over and out. I gotta go to the bathroom. We don't need to end it. What is up, my fellow cruisers? Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. If you liked what you saw today, consider joining the Boat Breaker family. We're giving away a free cruise for two to one of our subscribers when we hit a thousand subscribers. And be sure to check out the other videos that we have posted that we're pointing to right here. Thank you guys and have a great day.